Hi there and welcome to another video tutorial. In this one, I'll be talking about how to set up multiple mixes in the Studio One show page using a PreSonus Revelator IO44. With the Revelator mixer in its virtual inputs and multiple mixes, we can customize different mixes for broadcast and monitor. I'll be using a Revelator IO44 to create a guitar performance show setup in this demo. The electric guitar is plugged into channel 1, and I'll be using Ampire to add effects to it. If you have an external guitar effects processor with a stereo output, you can use the line in to bring that audio signal in. I'll also connect a headset using the headset jack. A headset with a built-in mic will make it easy to talk to the audience while playing guitar. Here I have a show page file open with a guitar channel, backing track, and click track. If you are unfamiliar with how to set up a Studio One show page, I suggest you check out the video link in the description below. First, I'm going to set up the outputs going out to the Revelator's mixer. In the I.O. settings, in the Output tab, add three new stereo outputs and name them as Live Out, Backing Out, and Click Out. And then assign them to go into the playback and virtual channels of the Revelator I.O. 44. Hit Apply, and then OK. Next, I'll create three output buses and call them Live Bus, Backing Bus, and Click Bus. Then I'll assign each one to the outputs we just created. Live Bus goes out to the Live Out, Backing Bus to the Backing Out, and Click Bus goes to the Click Out. Now it's time to assign the channels to the buses. Any live instrument should go into the Live Bus, Backing Tracks to the Backing Bus, and the click track goes to the click bus. I'll now go to the Universal Control app where you'll see these three channels coming into the Revelator's mixer. I've renamed the playback and virtual A and B channels as live, backing track, and click. I'm going to use Stream Mix A as my monitoring mix and select it as my headphone source. In this mix, I'll add in the live instrument channel to hear my guitar with Ampire. I'll bring up the backing track channel a bit and also add some of the metronome click. And you'll notice that I kept channel 1's fader down and that's because I don't want to hear the guitar's dry signal. On Stream Mix B, which I'll use as the broadcast mix, I'll turn up the live instrument and backing track channels but of course leave the click track down. After you've set up everything, it's a good idea to save this as a scene so it's easy to recall the mixer settings the next time you need it. Let's listen to how these two different mixes sound like. This is what I'll hear in the monitor mix. And this is the mix that goes out to broadcast. If you have a tablet running the UC Surface app, you can control the Revelator mixer wirelessly, which makes it easy to do mix changes on the fly. That's it for this one, and I hope you find this video helpful. See you next time.